Yes, people, I am Savage Dan, and welcome to a brand new boxer feature called In The Camp. We are going on the road to find out more about what makes boxers tick. We are gonna be giving you exclusive interviews and challenges where I'm gonna be taking on these fighters, and you're also gonna get a chance to ask your question. Today, we are in Stonebridge Boxing Club, and I'm here to see Mikel Lawal. You don't wanna miss this one. Yes, people, I am joined today by Mikel Lawal. Uh, I'm gonna start with, with uh, a question that you probably heard a lot. I think I know the answer to it as well. Yeah, what's that? Why is your name Lethal Lawal? Well, I guess I'm a lethal hitter. You know? I thought it was Lethal Weapon. Yeah, well, it's a good film. <laughs> it's a good film. Yeah, good film. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's just more, like, it's more personal to me, isn't it? And I think it just, it suits me and I, every time I get into the ring, I'm always trying to be as lethal as possible, isn't it? So, yeah, that's Makes it. Sense. Yeah. All right, why did you start boxing? Why did I start, I started boxing? More to just get off the streets, you know, like the same. But yeah, just, you know, get a bit of discipline in me, you know, and just start something new, do you understand? And yeah, obviously I wanted to stop. There's a lot of things I was doing that I had to stop doing, so yeah, that was good. I started boxing. Would you say that that's part of the reason why you keep boxing? I, know, I guess now it's different. I'm more fighting for, I've got a purpose. I've got, I've got my kids that I'm fighting for, my family and things like that. So I think that's what it is. And obviously I want to be cruiserweight champion of the world. And so I've, I've got these goals in mind as well. So I've got these things that I'm trying to aspire to do, to be. Also, I'm trying to help a lot of people too. So, yeah, that's that's my reason for boxing now. When will you stop boxing? I haven't really fought, fought that far ahead. If I could, I will never stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, that's just, what Roy Jones said. Roy Jones still at it. Yeah, come on. If I, 89 is coming into the ring, you know, I'll do it, man. But um, I obviously can't do that. But, yeah, man, I'm, I am really plan that far ahead. Obviously, I... I think I'll know when it's the when it's the right time to stop. Yeah, they say but, that. Yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah, if my if I'm not if I, if I can't continue, then yeah, I'll call it a day. What does the future look like for you? And I'm talking immediate future, and then distant future. Distant future. Um, immediate, I would say, just want to get back into the ring. I've been out for a good few months now, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, just get back into the ring. I should be fighting back in, like, in September or so. So, yeah, get back into the ring. Do you know who your opponent is? No, not yet. Um, I think I'm just going to have like, a little tune-up fight. Then after that, I've got, um, I think, what's his name? So, it's a good start. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. don't even care what your name is. No, no, no. It's not even that. Like, no disrespect to my, yeah. I can't remember Luke his Watkins. name. Luke. Oh, is it Watkins? No, no, that's not him. No, no, yeah. Jack Massey. Oh, okay. Thank yeah, you. yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Jack Massey. Shout out to Jack Massey. So, yeah, I should be fighting him hopefully in November. I think he's got a bit of a, he's got a lot, of, he's got an upcoming fight as well. So, hopefully he wins that so we can get on in it. So, but yeah, apart from him, yeah, I think I'm, I've got my dreams on the world title as well. So, yeah, I definitely want to become a world title holder. And during the, Great Nigerian fighters that seem to be taking over the combat sport. Everywhere. You know what taking I mean? Taking over. Taking every, over. So. Every time there's a title fight and a Nigerian fighting for it, come they're on, coming out with the belt. <laughs> so that's what it's about, isn't it? So I'm trying to definitely join them and do my thing as well, isn't it? Outside of boxing, yeah. there's rumours yeah. that you are a decent gamer. This is, that was your thing. Yeah, it was all right. It was yeah? all right. Yeah, yeah, what was yeah. your FIFA? Nah, not really for me. I want... <laughs> You know what it was, yeah. I think I had to call it a day when I everyone everyone was beating me, so I just had to just like, you know what? Oh, so me. you just uh, no FIFA uh, wasn't for me. That that, that particular, okay. I don't know what, yeah. what it was. Well, I'm gonna I just yeah. I may as well put it out there since yeah. we're talking about it. Yeah. FIFA. I was top three in the world. Wow. In 2014 on okay. FIFA 14. Okay. I was 
not got I was supposed to be going uni I didn't go uni wow. I was staying at home okay playing these you know in Asia I don't know how they managed to do it but they play, they play like 400 games in a day so it's hard oh, yeah. to keep up with those guys crazy, crazy. my internet connection wasn't wasn't as sharp as it was should it? be but my record was quality Come on. what's your games I would say more like adventurous type of games like Assassin's Creed okay um Ones where you don't have to play other yeah, people. Yeah, basically. exactly. That's, that's, that's also all them kind of games there. Like that, that was me. I love them kind of games too. No games anymore. No games anymore. Unfortunately, man. Right. I was. I would say my reason for that is it was just too distracting. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is a hundred percent. I had six percent attendance that year. Wow. At uni, and I blame wow. it all on okay. my PS4. Yeah. Definitely. Um, <laughs> what else do you do outside of boxing that keeps you kind of? grounded for when you do come into the gym yeah i've been trying to trying to study a bit more as well i think i've been trying to read books and things like that just just get knowledge from you know from past experiences or people and yeah i think i've i think that was my main thing that right now and obviously i'm trying to like start little things for yeah. myself little businesses here and there so I'd say that was, it's more just things, anything that, to do with soft growth. That's, that's really what I'm on right now. There was a book that I, I haven't bought a book for yeah. like a decade. And wow. I bought one this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've forgotten the name of it. It might be like the Chimp Complex or something oh, like okay. that. Yeah, 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 but it's yeah. like one of those kind of like, I'm trying to get me re-discipline yeah, 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 myself. Yeah, yeah. I've lost yeah. my way. Yeah, Boris you... Johnson's making me put on some weight, all of that. I need to just refocus <laughs> You know um, a book you should actually read, yeah, is 50 Cents, Hustles Harder, uh, Hustle Smart, Hustle uh, Harder, isn't it? So that could send me down a crazy road. Trust me, it should. It's, That's such a good book. Is it? Such a good book, man. Let's back to boxing. Obviously, the cruiserweight division is one of the hottest in, in the yeah, UK, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. There's so much domestic fighters. Yeah. Do you have your eyes, obviously, we've, we've talked that you, you could be fighting Jack Massey. Yeah. Um, he's a tough, he's a tough boy. He's like, yeah. if he's nothing else, he's tough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, what about the rest of them? Are there, are you, have you got your eyes on anyone in particular? Are there fights that you think might suit you yeah. more than other fights? I would say, uh, I've got my eye on everyone. Like, <laughs> there's no one, there's no one out there right now that I haven't done a bit of studying on, especially the current um, world champion, Akoli, yeah. did his thing. You know, congratulations to him. So obviously, just I've, I've, I've actually t taken a step back and with no hate, nothing like that. Yeah. Just watching them, like you know, how can I learn from yeah. these guys? And obviously, one day beat them. So yeah, I've got certain things there. They're, they're obviously my rare view. I'm just watching out for them and going to hopefully meet them soon. Um, I, I, do you know what? I'm glad you said about Akoli yeah. because yeah. I think everyone, probably including myself, yeah. at one point looked to him and thought it's a potential accident waiting to happen yeah, because yeah. his style didn't look... It's not it, the most it, pleasing to the eye. It's know? not pleasing. Yeah. It looks like it's wrong. His balance isn't great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's so effective it that is. you just almost can't get near it. No, it is. He's got such long arms, yeah. man. And he's such a long guy. Like, he's, he's, he's not... Is that Dalsim? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Man, he's not, Dalsim. Yeah, he's not, he's not meant to be a cruiserweight. Like, he's, he's definitely a heavyweight. <laughs> but he just somehow just gets down to, to our weight. But... Hopefully soon, one day, man, we'll meet. What do you think makes you stand out in the ring? As in, do you think you have a, a style that not many people have? Is it power or is it? I would say, I'm just, I think I, I'm, I'm just able to adapt to anyone's style. Isn't it? And like, even with my short experience and being like, I've already had seven amateur fights, mm -hmm. but I feel like even with that, I'm still able to, anyone who I come across, whether I meet, I'm just able to adapt to their style and just, you know, and find a way to beat them. So I think that's just the thing about me. That's, yeah. Who's the biggest puncher you'd say you've been in the ring with? Not not even just in an actual fight, I'm talking sparring oh, as well. Oh, sparring as yeah. well. Um, I would say I when I sparred um, Hergovic. Okay. Yeah. That was. sounds like a big puncher. It just sounds, he's got that name. Devastating, man. I was just like, and it was like, it, that was all, that was <laughs> tough, like, that was yeah. tough, hard, you know. For me, that was like, oh, if I move to heavyweight, he's a heavyweight, yeah, heavyweight. And uh, 
is it one of those like the fud and the shots that you can even the ones you're blocking you can throw yeah, away yeah, at them. Yeah, 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 exactly. So you can't really escape that pain. Like it's like, boom, like yeah, damn, you know what I mean. So yeah, I think for me, I'll say he's the hardest hitter that I've ever like faced. So you know, which boxer got you into boxing initially? Who was the one that made you fall in love with it? For me, yeah, it was Mayweather. Yeah. But he's kind of ruining it right now uh, for me. Hey, bit, but, but I hear him, he has to get the bag. But yeah, my, smart, my, my smart. introduction to, yeah. to boxing, why I fell in love was me, but do you have somebody who like, you were just like, ooh. Yeah, for me, I would say to this day, Mike Tyson, man. Obviously, I, uh, we, we're not the same body wise and everything. I can't fight like him, yeah. whatever. But there was the way he just brought that aggression in it and just. And obviously, you could tell he was, he was, at the time, he was angry at the world or whatnot. So I felt like I wanted to almost express myself in the same way. Obviously, yeah. it's not really me, but I, you know, I really, I really, I really, I could relate to it. And I lo just loved his style, yeah. loved everything about it. I just loved how you get into the ring and just, you know. He had just, you beat before you was in the ring. Exactly, man. You just look at you, and like, you look at you like food, look at you like meat. And that's, you know, I just loved that about him, you know what I mean? And it just made me feel like, yeah, like I've got, you know, I'm, I'm powerful as well, and I, and I, I can do it. Too. I can do it too. What's yeah. your favorite thing about boxing? My favorite thing about boxing. Just when Quite. you find out who's very violent. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, for me, I've got, I've got a few things. I think, but I'll say first and foremost the discipline in it, and then hey. I know a lot of people say that, but for me, it goes a long way because if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for boxing, I'd probably still be drinking a lot, mm -hmm. probably still be, you know, staying out late night, you know, I'll, I'll be in, I'll be in whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it keeps me fit, keeps me grounded. So uh, just that yeah. discipline for me. You're making me miss this sport, nah, man. Nah, You're making me, me miss this sport. <laughs> trust me, man. I've <laughs> lost all discipline. <laughs> Let's come back to boxing, bro. Like, you know well, I mean? Yeah, you're right. You know, yeah. I might be able to look the bags yeah, are here. It's, it's enticing. <laughs> um, what do you hate most about boxing? I guess I won't say I hate it. I just hate getting hit. But I like to do the hitting, so it's a bit, you know. <laughs> it's all part of it. Yeah, it's all part of the game, isn't it? Uh, what makes you stand out in the ring? Do you want to wait for the... <laughs> yeah, you always gotta wait when Wembley, man. You got it. <laughs>I'll be honest, I didn't really enjoy that. But it's my turn now. Time for revenge, yeah? Time for revenge. Can we make sure that sunk all the <laughs> way in? Right, let's go, let's right, go. Three, two, one, go. Who is the favorite king? Hello. Uh, Boy, Mohamed Ali is the world champion. How many times? Three. Yeah. Where did AJ win the rematch against Ruiz? Um, Portugal! Country, yeah. <laughs> yes. What record did Roy Mayweather retire with? 50. Yeah. Who beat Mike Tyson for the first time? Boston Douglas. Yeah, correct. Five. See, I'm getting taller already. Yeah. I can feel it. I'm getting yeah. taller. 
That's go for really, it. Really, go for the presents. I'm a giant, bro. Yeah, I'm a giant. I'm, I'm a, a giant. goblin. You're not that guy, so I'll trust you. You're not that guy. <laughs> In case you didn't realize, I lost the first round 4 3. Allegedly, I feel like there was a bit of tampering with the results. And then we were meant to do a speed test to see who's the fastest on the bag. And for some crazy reason, we now cannot do that. I'm not saying that there's any foul play happening, but I'm just, just making you guys aware of what's happening. Now we're doing an arm wrestle. And I haven't done one of these. I feel like you did one last week. I haven't done oh, one for yeah. probably since secondary school. So yeah, primary school, how about that? Well, prime, uh, <laughs> nursery was my last one then. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Three, two, one, go. I'm just holding my ground now. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you got it. Oh, the guy's strong. <laughs> hey, the guy's strong. <laughs> He's strong. <sighs> I don't love it. I don't. I don't. I did. You know what? Yeah? It's annoying me. I, I, I had a game plan. I had a game plan where I thought, let's feel him out and see where he's at. And he was he, like, he was one nil up already. Like he'd already got me there. It's hard to claw it back. Oh, <laughs> Good game, man. Obviously, I'm the winner, as usual. Oh. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's all we've got. I lost. I'm not happy about it. That's it. That yeah. could be it, though. That could be what I needed to ignite this fire to make me return. That's all I needed. Anyway, that is it. That is under pressure, under fire. I'm under the cosh. That's why I am. <laughs> Right, now we've got some fan questions, and this one comes from Fabian Lenka. What belts are you targeting in the next 12 months? The next 12 months? I'm definitely trying to go for the British title, maybe European. In 12 months? Yeah. Is, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's, okay. Let's, let's, let's go for it, man. So, yeah. that, that Jack Massey fight, is that mm. meant to be a, a the final limit. eliminator? Yeah, the final, uh, no, the eliminator, I believe, then the final eliminator. Hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the thing is, with the division as it is at the moment, we yeah. don't even know where that British title. You, yeah. We don't know where. Do you, where do you think it? Who do you think has it? Um, right, let's start. Let's start with. We know uh, Tommy McCarthy's fighting. He, yeah, um, Smith. 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 Yeah. Who do you think takes that? I would say, Bill and Smith is a more. He's a neater, more grounded fighter. So I'll, I'll give it to him. Yeah, I'd say know, that yeah, as well. Yeah. And then, he's gonna probably have to fight. Dion Juma. Yeah, probably yeah. Juma. We yeah. So it's, it's the a thing lot. is, it's, it's probably buzzing. whoever you fight, you would have done. You would have spent quite a lot of yeah, rounds yeah, with them yeah, in the gym yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this one is from Smokey Lawar, your brother, right? Yeah, come on. Shout out, Smokey. <laughs> um, who is your favorite boxer of all time? My favorite boxer of all time. I'll say Muhammad Ali, man. Yeah, Muhammad Ali, the greatest. He's just the greatest. He has to, like, he just is, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one is from Dazar Sean underscore Deze underscore. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, when is your next fight and who is it against? Um, uh, um, my next fight, I should be, it should be in September. I'm not sure he's going to be against. It's just a little tune-up fight, so mm -hmm. yeah, look out for that, man. Rafi.bm.1. Yeah, you look, can you start getting some <laughs> easier names for me, please? Yeah. Uh, he said, would you move up to heavyweight? Uh, probably would. I uh, probably would. Yeah, probably give it a go. You know. You beat you. You yeah. knocked out Damian Chambers. Yeah. You fought at heavyweight yeah, just yeah. the other day. Yeah, he did. He did. Was it Babich? Did yeah. He fought? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he tried actually. I'll say. You know what? I'll say with him if he's he feels a bit more, you know, closed yeah. off and his technique was there a bit more. But yeah, he, he did well. I mean, it was last minute. I don't think me. a lot of people realise how big that jump is. It's, yeah. It has to be the biggest jump in boxing, so, right? Yeah, Between probably, yeah, uh, probably cruiser yeah, and heavy. Is. It's ridiculous jump. It's 10 kg in there. Yeah, yeah. So but Babich is not that heavy to me. He's not that heavy, yeah, but so. he's just heavy. And he's imposing. Yeah, the exactly. last thing you yeah, want to yeah, fight is an yeah. imposing Babich yeah, when you're yeah. a cruiserweight. Exactly, it's, it's yeah. um, but it's on the cards. Only if your your body makes you do it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, yeah. Um, at Mason CDG said, if you could fight in the Olympics, would you have represented GB or Nigeria? I would say, you know, that's got the motherland, so I'll say Nigeria. And Dan Jones said, is there a person in the cruiserweight division that you really want to fight? Is there a name above all the others? 
name above all the others? I would say no, no one in particular, man. It's just everyone, man. Like I would say, like especially for me, all the cruiserweights in the in the UK, like definitely, I want to definitely fight sometime. Like, maybe even actually Dion Jumar. I want to give him a go. That'll be interesting. That will be an interesting fight yeah, when it happens because yeah, it's like it's a clash of stars. Yeah, for definitely. Real, for real. Right, thanks for joining us. Cool, my brother. Uh, it was a good chat. Good chat. Uh, as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow Mikel Lawal, follow his journey, and see who we've got for you next week.